In this sequence, we're back at Durango again, as the 487 is serviced, and the diesel, on loan from the U.S. Army, makes up a train of pipe gongs for Farmington. The 487 then leaves for Chama, while K-28-476 assembles the Silverton train. The Silverton train is made up for a run up the branch. The following scenes, filmed in 1954, show a mixture of Pullman green and grand gold colored cars. By 1955, the former San Juan cars had all been painted yellow. The parlor car Alamosa trails the contest. As the train heads north, it passes former Florence and Cripple Creek 315, which is being made ready for a movie.
Nearing Rockwood, we find crews preparing to film Around the World in 80 Days with 280315, a flat car with a mock-up coach interior, and the Army Diesel, number 4700, disguised as a baggage car. The deep cut north of Rockwood was made into a tunnel for movie scenes. Throughout the 1950s, a number of great westerns were filmed on the Silverton Branch. One of the best of these was Denver and Rio Grande, a fictionalized history filmed in 1951. Produced by filmmaker Nat Holt, whose trademark featured a train in every western, this saga featured 268 in the starring role. Like all Hollywood movie stars, this star had a stand-in for the climatic wreck scene filmed near Hermosa. C-19, number 340, which was slated to be scrapped, was repainted as the 268. Former Florence and Cripple Creek, 319, was also sadly destroyed in the collision. Movie crews had so much dynamite packed into the two unmanned locomotives that the resulting explosion almost obliterated the scene. A Ticket to Tomahawk, released by Paramount in 1950, starred Dan Daly and Ann Baxter, but the real star was Rio Grande Southern 10-wheeler, number 20. Filmed on the Silverton branch, the number 20 had her own stand-in, as Hollywood set makers built a wood and fiberglass replica for use in sub-scenes. Around the World in 80 Days, a widescreen epic produced by Michael Todd, was filmed on both the Silverton line as well as the Durango to Antonito narrow gauge in 1955. The film featured 315 pushed by a disguised army diesel. Other scenes were filmed at Ignacio. After filming, the 315 was returned to a short piece of track in a Durango park.